Mike Babcock does not intend to return to a hockey bench, saying in a radio interview on Friday that he was withdrawn from training. We have always said that we were going to retire at 60 and that I am 59 years old, so fundamentally, that's what it is, Babcock told an interview on 680 CKOM in Saskatoon. Now if things change, I guess they change, but it is surely not our plan. Believe me, we talked to many people about opportunities and appreciated these conversations. In the end, we think it is best for us and the best for our family, and that is what we do. Babcock resigned from his position as a volunteer head coach from the male hockey team at the University of Saskatchewan Huskies Thursday after only a year in the position, which, according to him, has always been the plan. He led the NHL last time in 2019 to 2020 when he was dismissed by the Toronto Maple Leafs only 23 games in the season. Babcock was one of the most prosperous coaches of his time, which included the Red Wings of Detroit at the Stanley Cup in 2008 and Olympic gold winning twice with Canada. However, after his dismissal by the Maple Leafs, the accusations of intimidation and verbal violence were taken from Babcock by some of his former players, including Johan Franzen and Chris Kellios. An incident involving the Mitch Marner stream of the time also highlighted some of Babcock's questionable coaching tactics. Babcock had apologized to Marner before the incident was made public, but the job prospects of the veteran coach have been rare since. He was a candidate for the position of Washington Capitals before Peter Laviolette was hired in September 2020 and made a brief passage as a studio analyst at NBC Sports. He then joined the Huskies in the spring of 2021 and served as a mentor for the association coach of the time, Brandon Cote, who now takes the relay of head coach. The Saskatchewan posted a 14-9 file under Babcock and lost against the Calgary Dinos in the quarterfinals of Canada West. Now that this chapter of his career has ended, Babcock says he will appreciate hunting, skiing and spending time with his family. For us, it's time to move on, he said.